Wow, Deborah, follow that. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. What a great speech that was and um, what a uh, brilliant articulation of the value of uh, design. And I sometimes uh, think that we at DCMS could change the name of the department. We recently put digital in front of culture, media and sport without changing the acronym. We managed to change the name of the department, but we could easily have called ourselves the Department for Design, Culture, Media and Sport. And it's been a big week for design. It's not only the Design Effectiveness Awards tonight, but Photoshop is 28 years old this week. Well, it, it looks 28, but it's actually 35. Um, and I think, Evenings like this are important. One of our greatest British designers, Sir Johnny Ive, once modestly said that people's interest is in the product, not its authorship. But I beg to differ. For many of the non-designers of this world, what you do, taking an idea from within your head and turning it into a product that is used the whole world over, or redesigning a business so it's more effective, more efficient, it's a form of alchemy, and we're not only interested in this alchemy, but we're in awe of it. And Britain, as you said, has long been a leader in design. We've a reputation for products and services that combine formidable function and breathtaking beauty, and for design thinking that can recreate a whole business and really make it tick. The Spitfire, the mini skirt, the mini, the penguin book covers, the underground signage, the E-type, and of course Johnny's iPhone. Just a few of the iconic British designs instantly recognized the world over. But where Johnny had a point is that designers are not always as lauded or as publicly recognized as their products or services. And I think tonight is a great opportunity to give praise where it's due. And I know that the future of British design is safe in your hands. You're out there flying the flag, itself an iconic bit of British design, and maintaining our global reputation for creativity, innovation, and sheer talent. Creative and commercial, you said. I like that. And what I really wanted to say tonight is this. I believe that this alchemy is not automatic, and it is not accidental. It is because of a set of policies, of an ecosystem, of the melding of artistic, creative and technical excellence. This is where Britain's bread is buttered in the 21st century, at the nexus between technical brilliance and artistic flair. And we must make it so, not just for this generation, but for the next. Numerate, literate and creative. I get that. I like it. So let us celebrate and let us promote, but let us also make this argument. And what's great about these awards is they base their decisions on proof, proof of effect. To quote the DBA's own website, good design means good business. That's why our designers are in such high demand and why our products are setting new standards for creativity and ingenuity right across the world. That openness, that global outlook, and the support for the next generation must be cherished. So I congratulate all tonight's nominees. I thank everyone in this room for all your hard work. And I say to you, and to Britain's whole design industry, I am on your side. Thank you very much indeed.